Hi, I am Jethro Daniel. I cannot walk, I cannot talk in the usual way, I cannot feed myself or move from one place to the other. I am disabled, but that is not all I am, not even close. I had two clearly devastating conditions and the doctors said that I would be like a vegetable and there was nothing else that could be done. No cure, no solution, no hope. Little did I know about the medical condition. Not much that I could see about the medical prognosis. I turned my belief on that benevolent creator. Jethro needed love and affection. We gave it to him with all our heart. More than anybody else, he needed it and we gave him the best. Being handicapped did not define who I was and neither did it define my life for my family. We explored the extent of Jethro's capabilities and we stumbled upon a treasure. Jethro could form words, sentences, perform all kinds of mathematical operations and he had a profuse knowledge of things around far beyond his age particularly given his extreme disability. On one occasion, in two stretches of 15 minutes each, Jethro composed 11 poems of profound thought, immensely relevant to the nation and to mankind. Jethro finds the mutilation of human spirit more limiting than physical disability. It's very easy to become bitter angry in circumstances like these. But it is evident by the constant joy on Jethro's face and his sunny disposition that he has not let his circumstances become the main focus of his life. Our society is in need. Everyone is looking for meaning and a purpose and to ensure that we do not get swept by the tide. That is life. I wanted to play a part. My poems compiled in the book Don't Mess Around are sent every single day to the thought leaders of society. I also reach out to the common man through the Jethro Initiative Family Trust started by my family to help the underprivileged of society. Everyone has certain limitations in life. Just look around. It is evident that life is hard. Jethro's life is pretty much the same. 100% disability. I see that he has not let the circumstances control him. We are who we are, where we are and what we are. For a reason and in order to live a fruitful life, it is important to embrace our circumstances and reach our destiny. I did and that has made all the difference.